My name is Jordan. I'm from Killeen, Texas. I'm 21 years old, and this is Financial Audit. Thanks for coming down to Austin. So what do you do for a living up there in Killeen? Um, I am a fraud case representative. Fraud case representative in like the banking industry? Yeah, banking industry. Very good. What are we making right now? Um, I net $2,200 bi-weekly. Bi-weekly, okay. How do we feel living in Colleen off that 2200 Um, Poor. Why? I don't think that's enough money. Kay. Everything is just going up. Sure, everything always goes up forever. That's $52,800 a year net. I wouldn't necessarily call that poor. Are there decisions surrounding your life and finances that are making you poor and the feeling poor versus the actual money that's coming in and literally being poor, which you wouldn't be with that income? A little bit of both, but, you know, that's your opinion. Huh? That's your opinion, but it's a little well, bit I, of both. I don't know. I'm asking you. Well, I'm asking no, your I feel like I'm just not making enough money. You're not making enough money. Yeah. You don't think it's anything to do with your spending or the debts you've gotten yourself in or any of the life choices that you've made. It's mm. only about the money that's coming in? No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. About 50-50. About 50-50. 50-50. Okay. Is this the industry that you want to be making a career in? No. What do you want to be doing? Accounting. Accounting. Okay. So, I mean, you're already in the finance space. Accounting, I could see a natural transition. Uh, what's your degree in? Do you have a degree? Uh, no, I just literally put a pause to my schooling maybe about two weeks ago. Okay. Uh, where were you? Uh, A and M. Okay. How far were we into it? Were we going for accounting? Yeah. This was uh, my last two years. Uh, this was it's okay. So you're halfway through college. Yeah. So what made us drop out, especially if that's the career path we want to go down? Uh, finance, basically. Yeah. So. Oh. I was on the program to where if you made under $45,000 a year, yeah. you didn't have to pay to go to school. Okay. But now, since last year, this last year, I made way lower that. So now I have to pay. Okay. And what's the tuition? I don't have no clue. I know I can't get um, enough aid because my parents, um, make, they're high earners. Yeah. So. Yeah. So anything you'd qualify for, any type of loan or anything like that, would probably be interest rates higher than you'd like to see. Yeah. Okay. I mean, school is certainly an investment, whether or not you're getting it for free, though. Accounting, you can make a very good career in accounting. It is. It is. But I think, I think well, if I'm going to go to school for that and pay, I have to work out this first because right now it's not going to work out. Wouldn't it make more sense to put our money towards school instead of fast food and holding balances on credit cards <laughs> if that's what we care about like where's our priorities because there i think it's more of a priority being skewed and then you're already kind of taking a little bit of a victim complex on oh i make a pretty strong income for my age but it's not enough money that's your opinion i i don't make enough money i don't think the food enough money for what to live well that's objectively incorrect that's your opinion I don't no, no, think no. that is objectively incorrect. How? Mathematically, that is objectively incorrect. How? What do you mean? Mathematic. What What do you mean? How? Well, how? <laughs> Who's living off her $52,000 a year? Dude, the, what is the, the median income? First of all, the median household income in the United States is like 65. And your uh, uh, net, what were you again? 52. Net? Yeah, exactly. Median household in the u.s i'm not saying you're living in luxury unless that's what you're conflating uh median real household income was seventy four thousand in 2022 and median median salary in the united states fifty nine thousand three hundred eighty four before taxes usa today 2024 so you're making above that before taxes so you're making above the median the median okay. as in the median so you just asked who's living off of that uh the median's living off of less than that does that answer your question yeah so you're wrong kind of what the f <laughs> i'm kind of wrong but how okay well maybe it's just my situation i feel like i'm not making enough money okay i think it's your situation based on your decisions that could be it is. I've seen your finances. Could be. It's not about the income that's coming in. It's about your lack of discipline. 
your lack of budgeting. You're f***ing around. You've made bad choices. Bad choices are okay. I've made bad choices, but we correct them. You're not correcting them. Yeah? If you say so. Okay, okay. I'm going to agree with you 50-50. So object, <laughs> I'm going to agree with you 50-50. What the f*** are you? <laughs> I <don't... laughs> Do I make bad decisions? Yes, but I don't think that it plays, you know, a lot on my finances. I don't think it's just, you know, me. I'm not the problem. Me? I'm not the problem. Is that what you just said? Is that what, what those are those words that just came out of your mouth? I'm not the problem. I think it's my income. I need more income. 20% of your spending. 20% goes to going out to eat you need 20 percent. you need to eat buddy another 20 yeah you need to eat but 1.7 percent goes to groceries i need to eat 20 percent goes out to eat i need to eat are you single or are you only feeding yourself um i'm single but sometimes i go with my sister right now okay but you're only you only need to feed yourself yeah okay well you already spend $535 more on food a month than I know you could if you followed, like, our meal plan that we've created that is healthy, sustainable, You're the serious? amount of calories you need on a daily basis. You serious? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was that much. Okay, well, maybe I do have a problem. Yeah, maybe it <laughs> maybe is I your do. fault. Maybe. Maybe there's a little bit of responsibility that can be here. If that's what we get out of this conversation, I'm going to be very happy. Uh, you know, it sounds like personal responsibility is basically non-existent in your life and i would love for that to come into your life yeah okay so you're going to go through the budgeting program we gift it to every guest so you get that it's going to be great you're going to go through that you get access to our meal plan and you're going to follow all the education so make sure you do that okay so your finances from your perspective and i'm already nervous to hear what you're about to say on this but zero to ten what is your score and then i'll give you my score at the end zero to ten zero being the worst ten being the best I'm going to say a three. Okay. So three. And if you want your hammer financial score, get it for free in the description below. Three out of 10. Why do you think it's a three out of 10? What's going on with your finances today? Um, well, I'm, I'm pretty much paycheck to paycheck, but I do have a 401k. So that's a good sign. So that's the only reason why I get myself a three. Okay. Cause retirement is starting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, $5.49 in savings and this UFI, UFCU, this checking account, 69 cents. That, I, I don't use that. Okay. That's just a transfer account. Uh-huh. Now we seem to have some kind of loan. Is this a personal loan? 1,353. What is this loan? For? Uh, that's a line of credit. A line of credit that you have up to $1,353 currently. That's seventeen point nine percent interest. What are you using it for? Random stuff. It, it's never been paid off since I took it out. So it's probably been up to thirteen. It's my income that's the problem. <laughs> it is. You you're borrowing for bullshit. Oh my gosh. One thousand three hundred fifty-three dollars eleven cents is what uh, is owed at that seventeen point nine percent interest rate. And it's only a, it's a $40, $49 minimum monthly payment. I mean, it's going to take forever to pay off. And that interest is going to be accruing forever. At 21, man. At 21. That's just so young to have something so bad. But yeah, give me grace. Just a little bit. Huh? Give me grace. You. <laughs> what? Why would I give you grace? I'm 21. This, this loan's not giving you grace. You're 21. You're three years into adulthood. If you're still a child, then you shouldn't be allowed to drive. You should be able to live on your own. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Uh-huh. I'll take that. Grace. Grace. There's no <laughs> grace. Plus, you and your grace. You say you have a 401k, but you have a 401k loan. I do. That was for good reason. Please. In October, um, I left my apartment. Now, I think it happened October 29th. My lease was up the last day of October. I left my apartment to go to my mom's house. When I got back, my whole ceiling was on the floor. Mm-hmm. And insurance and all that did not want to cover it due to uh, the the city um, code came out say the roof was never put on in, right in the first place. Okay, why? So they didn't want to cover anything. Renters plus, insurance, correct? Yeah, renters insurance. Okay. In my apartment complex, it was like the weekend. So when I got back, my lease was over. 
So I had to move into another. They usually have maintenance or someone 24 hours, no? There was, no, this incident maintenance couldn't handle. Like my whole ceiling was on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, you would have been able to get a hold of someone that could have gotten a hold of someone else. Um, it took them hours. Okay, sure. Hours. So I had to buy new stuff for this new apartment and I'm being forced oh, okay. into a new lease. Well, hold on. What did you have to buy? Furniture. What did you have to buy? Tell me. Couches. No, you didn't. I did. Had to? Yes. I think you get a lift a without a couch. Yeah. Couldn't put a air mattress on the ground. I lived on an air mattress for my first nine months in Austin. I'm way bigger than you. What an air mattress going to do? Uh, Get a double thick air mattress. <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> mattress on the ground. Okay, all that would have worked. All I'm saying is you did not need to. You used the word need. Do I need a couch to survive? No. Now, do I want you to live without this stuff? No, I'm not saying that. But taking a loan against your own retirement that has just started for something that is not a necessity to live. So I disagree with your premise there. It was more than that. Okay. I thought I was going to have to get another apartment uh -huh. or something like that because I was at the end of my lease. And I, although I had renewed, they was like, well, we're not going to, uh, whatever that is, they're not going to accept it because my apartment is down. So I moved, they moved me to a what? two bedroom. Okay. So I had to sign a whole new lease for that two bedroom. I was paying $650 for rent. And when I signed the lease, they was like, well, we can't give you this two bedroom, although that happened, but we can't give you this two bedroom for $650. So you're going to have to sign a whole new lease and your new rent will be $1,060. Okay. So I was debating, well, should I just move to another apartment a complex or? Why is this bar earning against our 401k? Because I didn't have no money. I didn't have no savings. Okay. To pay the little increase in rent. What was the rent going from to? 650. Oh, that is to a take big 60. jump. Yeah. That is a big jump. Okay. That's a bit on their part. Yeah. Okay. And what did you end up doing instead? Uh, Signing the new lease. With, with a different place? No. With them, yeah. for the 10, for the 10, uh, 1,000? Yeah. I want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Cook Unity. If you've ever watched this show before, then you know that I love food. Not only do I love food, but I love all different kinds of food. Cook Unity is the revolutionary chef to you delivery service that's bringing you the culinary wonders of top notch chefs right to your table. Step one, set your preferences. Tell Cook Unity what you love and what you don't. With meal plans ranging from four to 16 delicious options a week, you're in full control of your food options. Next up, choose your meals. With hundreds of options curated by award-winning chefs, you'll be spoiled when it comes to your choices. Menus are posted two weeks in advance, allowing you to tailor them to match your diet and preferences. Now for the best part, heat and plate. Fresh, not frozen meals arrive in eco-friendly packaging with clear instructions from the chef. For optimal enjoyment, Cook Unity recommends heating your meals in the oven. Repeat the yumminess. A few days before delivery, Cook Unity will text you with recommendations if you want to stick with your favorites or mix things up. The power, it's in your hands. Celebrate the diversity of local cuisine with Cook Unity, partnering with culinary innovators and award-winning chefs from across the United States. It's truly a one-of-a-kind at-home dining experience. Today, I'm gonna enjoy the lasagna. And this is crafted by chef Chris Littell. I'm a lasagna boy. I'm dressed like an Italian today. And this is classic lasagna bolognese with fresh pasta. We got whole canned tomatoes in this thing. We got some ground beef, ground Italian sausage, and a bunch of other yummy things that are gonna be delicious to eat. And if you're not feeling some lasagna, don't worry. We got a chicken dish over here. Mr. Chef Andres Mendez right here cooking up some chicken for us. It's going to be delicious if you're not feeling the lasagna. To get these right here, meal plans are flexible and commitment free. Skip deliveries, pause, or cancel anytime. Enjoy restaurant quality meals for a fraction of the price. Subscribe and start as low as $11 a meal. Ready to take your food game to the next level? Head over to cookunity.com slash Caleb50 or click the link in the description below. Use my code Caleb50 for an exclusive 50% off your first order. Cook Unity, where convenience meets world-class taste. All right, and then we have a couple credit cards. Here's, with that credit union, a Visa. Currently owe $1,006.34 with a $25 minimum monthly payment. 
you made a minimum monthly payment and then you went and purchased so and there's fees and there's interest we're purchasing yeah okay it's our income that's the problem right you're purchasing on a credit card that's accruing interest yeah. it better have been for necessities than if the income wasn't strong enough oh wait it's for a smoke shop and vape so i'm going into a gas station getting some bullshit. mcdonald's and what's this insurance debt protection um if i was to ever get hurt or something like that or die it'll cancel out like that it'll pay it off or if i was to lose my job it'll pay it but, off but, oh if you were to lose your job yeah. pay what off this yeah i was gonna say if you died it wouldn't matter unless someone else was on it but it, hmm it's interesting it would actually pay it off okay yeah. but the mcdonald's and the smoke shop and going in the gas station and getting some things yeah, definitely necessary, right? To put on a car Not the smoke that shop, we're getting fees. But everything else was. McDonald's is necessary? I had to eat. Are you f What but are McDonald's you? McDonald's is cheap, you know? That was a $12.30 meal. If you went for a meal on what we do, your meal would have costed, uh, cost after averaging out, averaging out against 28 days, three meals a day, which is what we have in there, uh, because you're meal planning about $3.57 per meal. Oh, that sounds pretty good. <gasps> that does sound pretty good. That's uh, cheaper than that McDonald's one. So, no, that McDonald's one does not look pretty cheap to me. Okay. So, did you need it? At that time, I would say yes. Why? Have but you never heard of a grocery store? Yeah, I go to the grocery store sometimes. Yeah, 1% of your spending or whatever it was. Still win. Have you ever heard of a sandwich? Yeah. It's a great new invention. I eat sandwiches. Yeah, it's cheaper than McDonald's. Yeah. Is it as tasty? No. No. Trust me, I love me some McNugs. But you can't afford it, buddy. You're putting this on a card you can't pay off and it's accruing interest and fees. Okay. And you're having a debt protection on this. Like, you're, like, already worried that, like, oh, well, I can't pay this off if something bad happens. If you're, if you're having the worry. <sighs> okay. Do you cook? Uh, No. Okay. I can, but got I'm you. Not. You've upgraded your apartment. I assume it has a little <laughs> bit of a kitchen, no? Yeah. Does it have the ability to cook things in yeah. it? Oh, okay. It's barely used. And we don't cook because. Okay, I got a good excuse. I work eight hours a week. Okay. Even though I work from home, make fifty-eight uh, work fifty-eight hours a week, and you can't pay off your card because you spend it all. Go ahead. You wouldn't have to work as much if you knew how to budget. Go ahead. To you, um, but. I, I don't feel like you to know, me, going out to okay, eat. Okay, I understand being naturally defensive. Like when you're on camera for the first time and I'm going through your sh It's much more invasive than a lot of people think when they're watching the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, so I get it. But t to you, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. What do you mean to you? We already I already told you how much you spent going out to eat to you. And this is you to you. There is no to you. There is simple $300 is less than the $900 or whatever the new ones eat. So to you, f off <laughs> to you. Okay. That's the stupidest I've ever heard in my life. All right. So I get you might be a little nervous, naturally defensive. That is what happens on this. But also shut the f up. <laughs> okay. 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 And I'm the one that's allowed to be mean. I'm the Caleb Springer. I get to be mean in the thumbnail and title. It's what we all agreed upon. Not you. Be nice. Give him support. He had the balls to come on. You don't. $288.39 on this card. $7.71 of interest is accrued. Paid a minimum monthly payment, but then we spent more than that on it. So, again, second credit card. Now we're spending money. It's and then okay. we're not paying it off. And interest is accruing. It's okay. Okay. Let me explain. I'm going to pay that off today. And I'm not going to use it again. Is that why it's okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was about to f You have no idea. I was about to, like, reach across this table. Going in and getting some bullshit, the, some Mart. And, like, what do you, you stop at, like, the, the gas station and you just get so many purchases. It's right by my house. And Congratulations. Especially if it's on- Everyone a has a gas station near their house. I'm proud of you. Well, I'm thrilled for you. If it's on a Saturday- or something like that. I'm oh, probably, yes. Known for the gas station days, Saturdays. Yes. I am getting a monster or whatever to work on Saturday. Because I'm not required to work on Saturday, but I do. So Good. Get a, get a Go to Costco and get monsters in like a big pack. You're losing so much more on these individual purchases where you could get a big pack. I agree. I agree. 
I could. I just don't go in grocery stores. I don't know why. That goes complete. Brandon, can you play the clip from like five minutes ago? He was like, I know grocery stores. I go there. Yeah, I go to the grocery store sometimes. I don't grocery shop. No more. What is this DBA air up? DBA. Air in your tires is maybe? I don't know. It's like two bucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. 32.4% uh, interest on this and you're f***ing around with it. That is an insane interest rate for you to f*** around with. I guess you agree, but you still do it. All right, sick, great. Walmart Capital One, Wally World, the card. Okay. We made a minimum monthly payment, but what did we do? Shocker, we purchased more than we put towards it. That was okay too. A, huh? That was okay too. What do you mean? Well, I'm gonna pay it off today. So why haven't you in the past then? No, I have. But I always yeah. There, then there's no there. Then there's no, I I can't get excited about you paying it off today. Yeah. Because if you've paid it off in the past, and then this is where we are, and you're losing interest, six dollars thirty six cents, and it's stacking across all these, then why would I possibly be excited? It doesn't matter if you pay it off today. If next month it's not paid off again, right? I, I, and I I agree with that. But you know it's gonna be paid off. I'm not, I'm gonna try not to use it. I won't say I won't, but I'm gonna try not to use it. What am I talking to right now? You're you're like a wall, a brick wall no. of just like there's some. Okay. It just it, I feel like my words aren't making it through. Well, I can't tell you that I'm not gonna spend on them no more, but. I don't know what the future holds. I'm gonna try. Can I squire here, please? Cause I need help. I need a plan or something. I get the natural defensiveness, but this is like this is like actually stupid. Your logic and the words you're using are stupid. And where are you getting the money to even pay these off anyway? You have three hundred dollars in the statements that we have. Both of these were. Both of these combined were. I mean, the last one was two eighty eight. This one's two sixty eight. Where are you paying them off from? Um, my uh, checking account. I got paid today. Oh, so it's one of those things. <laughs> yeah, I got paid today, so I'm gonna pay them off. I, yeah, I'm gonna pay. That's them such off. a worrying statement. Where we wait until like you are just so unfinancially figured out. Like you have, you are structured in no way whatsoever. Your finances are just a mess. They are. That it's like a, the moment we get paid, oh, we're going to do it, and then we're going to go into debt again, and then it's going to accrue interest, but, see, and we're going to go, we're going to do this so for raising canes. That's what we're going to allow interest to be accrued on. And, th and that's canes. what I have a problem with. I don't I don't know how to just stop. Stop what? Like, after I pay them off, you know, I'll go okay. with like a month or two. Okay. And then no, back that's great. It. That is a great omission. I am so happy you said that. You know what that means? You're not a credit card person. Chop them up. Close the accounts. You can never use credit cards again. Oh. Until you have financially proven to yourself that you're responsible, you're able to budget, you're able to manage your spending, which you cannot now, and you've self-confessed. I'm so glad you said that. Congratulations. Okay. This is the that's the that's the best thing you've said I, all day. I may chop them up, but I'm not closing them. Why? Because then he can just add him to a virtual wallet. Then he can just go request a new card. Damn. If you do not have the discipline, if you are not able to, if you don't give a sh enough to care about your future, then what's the point? What is the point of chopping them up that point? I understand what you're saying, but I need that credit age for our, when oh, I. Oh, you're it just f everyone these days. You do? I don't care. It's taking advantage of you. You're not taking advantage of it. How many times have I had to say this? Buddy. In what world is this helping you? I agree with you on that point. But in October, you know, when you apply for another apartment or whatever, you're going to need a decent credit score. So it doesn't matter because in 2021, according to your application, you paid off a ton of debt. Oh, yeah. A lot. Yeah. A few years later, we're in debt. So you continue to keep these open regardless if they're chopped up and then reordered and put in a virtual wallet or whatever. It doesn't matter if you pay them off through what we talk about today. Given your history, three years from now, you'll be in bad debt again. You are not disciplined. You cannot utilize this. Credit cards are for the rare few who are incredibly disciplined with their finances and they can actually utilize it. You are not that person. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. 
I, I agree with so you. So you will close them then because you agree with me. I will close <laughs> I will close most of them. But I, I gotta keep one. You know, I just I just gotta keep one. Why? You're gonna blow it up again. Okay. Okay, so you say I shouldn't keep one. Yes, you can't, you can't, you can't. You can't. Okay. Because you're just gonna max it out and that's gonna fuck your credit anyway. I will i I'll close them. I will close them. I understand what you're saying, what a lot of people try to say. Where they want to take advantage of credit. What are you trying to take advantage of credit for? You said you're getting a house? Um, I'm not getting a house. Um, but I have spoke with uh, mortgage loan officers. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been speaking with them for the past couple months just to see where I was at, you know, monthly check in, see how much okay. house buying power I can get. But you said you can't afford to live. How are you getting a house? That doesn't make any sense. Because rent is just so expensive. Rent is right now, rent's cheaper than mortgages. Well, I'm not looking at no, like, you know. House, no big old house or whatnot. I'm just looking at like a hundred and fifty thousand dollar home. What does that get you in that area? A nice three bedroom, two bathroom. Condo type thing? No house. What if if that's if you can get a nice three bedroom, two bath for hundred fifty thousand dollars in there, you have absolutely no an excuse to say bringing home net fifty thousand dollars is living poor. That is the most aggressively stupid thing I've heard. And yes, if you close your accounts, it will temporarily ding your credit. But for you, for someone who maxes their sh out over and over and over again, that's going to do more damage in the long run. That's going to hurt your score by being over that 33% or 30%, whatever it is, utilization. It's going to hurt you and your finances by maxing them out. I would rather you have a little ding now. Trust me, we have more debt. That will keep your credit score alive. Okay. Hundred fifty thousand dollars for a house. That's incredible. Plus, do you want to go back to school anyway? Does just settling down in a house make sense? Um, no and yes. I, I'm confused on that too. Like, I don't know. If you're confused on it, don't get a house. You only okay. get a house when you 100 percent sure know what your plan is. Okay, so no. Yeah, no house. Oh, a credit card that is actually not terrible. A credit card that you don't hold a balance on. Good job. Navy Federal. Okay. That's the one I'm keeping. Well, no, because it's the behavior around it. You you failed three of four. You failed three of four. So all those bad behaviors will translate to the one you have open then. Right, but that's a secure two hundred dollar card, and that most it's only like two bills that really go in there, and, and that equals up to about two hundred dollars. So, so and it's paid off every month. Well, did you say there's only two bills going on here? Yeah, plus a little extra. Huh, that's interesting. Chili, Starbucks. <laughs> Uh, an Apple subscription thing, an Apple subscription thing, Netflix, McDonald's, Texas Roadhouse, two bills. Okay, maybe not the on that. The f are you talking about? Maybe not Don't on that me. Maybe not on that statement. But I'm only going to go out the statement I have. But yeah. So what are you talking about? Okay, well, maybe not. But it is, it, but it is only. Cut it up! You don't know how to use credit cards. Ch dude. You're going to ruin me. It's like you, you haven't, oh my gosh, just like you're incapable of just recognizing reality. I do. But you said there's only two bills on here and then I had it literally right in front of me. Okay, well maybe not that statement because I think I did get paid three times. So I was like, maybe I already paid it off before and then spent some more on it. But yeah. Do you want scissors to chop up the card? Are you real about it? I am. So you'll do it? Oh, this is real. For real. It's not. We're not here to play around. This is changing your life, man. This isn't closing your accounts, unfortunately, but it is taking a step, at least showing that you're willing to do something and that this conversation isn't a complete waste of time. This is why my heart is a gentleman. See how hard it's taking to bust through this brick wall right now? Trying to Kool-Aid man through this guy. <laughs> okay, this is it. This is all of Wait, that, those are all credit cards, are they? Yeah. I want to make sure you're not cutting up a debit card. How, how many you got right there? Four. Four. Good. Okay. Now, just to be clear, this is this is your choice doing this. I don't want you to do anything you're uncomfortable with. I think this is a great first step, and I highly encourage you to do this. 
but I do not want you to feel pressured. Yeah, I'm serious about this. I'm cut my okay. Had a guy. Might want to do like two at a time. Yeah. A. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. This is the kind of stuff I watch to get off at home. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Okay, and then the name is Navy Federal what you use? Uh that's my main chickens. Okay, there's eighty five dollars in there. Yeah. That's how it's not much better. That's how it then two hundred dollars in savings. Two hundred dollars in savings. Yeah. So you thought you had more or less? No, it shouldn't be nothing in there. Okay, so there's nothing anymore? Um, that's just like a transfer account. Well, money goes in and money goes out. Okay, well, no money went in, no money went out. This statement, at least I'll let you look. Take a look. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. This is money went in and money went out. Wait a second. I think I misordered something because you also have a car, right? Yeah. Do you have a car debt? This is just a summary. Where was that car? I glossed over that second debt on another page because that was like your most f debt. Wait a second, what's going on here? It's Wednesday, you need a free $20. Usually you get $5 for signing up for Acorns, but using my link in the description below, you get a free $20. There's no strings attached. Make your Wednesday better by getting a free $20 for signing up for an amazing platform in the link in the description below. Got it, Nissan, Murano. I don't even know that car. I've never oh heard of that God. car. I didn't even want to talk about that. Why? I, I'm pissed off at myself about this buying this car why okay so i think i bought the car in october and i wasn't supposed to buy a car i was supposed to pay off my old car i only had three thousand dollars left because the following november is when i received like probably ten thousand dollars to eleven thousand dollars from my job okay i got my bonus and i got paid three times wow so i was going to pay off my car but i ended up trading it in and buying this new car why'd you go against okay, your plan don't tell me, don't tell why'd you go against your plan I, though impulse like yeah that's the definition of your life isn't it it's okay it's uh, it's a lot of people's problems it's where we live in a consumer culture uh, no it's not okay but i at least understand it the 14.1 percent interest rate of insanity is f though it is i'm thinking about getting a refinance right now well i mean in what's your score getting it. What's, what's score Credit like six seventy. What is your what are you able to refinance to these days? Um, I don't know. You said you're in the process. Where I are you am, in the process? I'm, somebody's supposed to be calling me back. Uh, when did you apply? This morning. Oh, f the day that the day that you came on the show. Also, what did you blow eleven thousand dollars on? <laughs> uh, paying off some uh, like three thousand went to paying off debt. The debt that we racked back up. Okay. And oh, this is why you can't have credit cards. The thing about it is Christmas came up. Comes up every year. It's not really a surprise. Yeah, but I I did a lot of extra things for Christmas that I normally don't. Yeah, eight thousand dollars worth of things. No. Well, it wasn't all that. Sense. Like I bought a bed. I bought a bedroom set and stuff like that, which was like three thousand dollars. Okay. And I don't know where that money went, to be honest with you, okay? It was just put it towards this new car, man. I only had it for a couple of days. The bedroom set? No, the money. Yeah, because you blew it all. Okay. Not okay, like, okay, but. No, I know, but it's such a weird response. <laughs> okay, so you're looking to refinance this? Yeah. How, though? You owe 26789 It's worth uh, 18300 <laughs> Okay, well then, I I don't know how much it works because I'm early in the process on it, so I don't know. Well, it's worth eighteen thousand three hundred. So, you, yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, we looked it up. Okay, well that's not gonna work. Yeah, no, 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 you are in the hole of this car. I saw it almost nine thousand, so that's kind of. Uh no, they the the bank wanted me to refinance my car, like from the mortgage side of things me obtaining the mortgage they wanted me to refinance my car to get a lower payment either that oh. extending the term oh they're trying to get your monthly minimum yeah but so your your term is going to be long basically so that's not good you don't need a mortgage right now buddy you're 21 
Uh, were you going in person at AM or no. online? No. Okay. Do you want to stay in Colleen? No. I know. I know. Have it you just bad. answered your own like f- entire? It sounds bad. I know. Yeah. I, no I one know. wants to live in Colleen anyway. So yeah, no. it's like, ah, I'm kidding. I'm sure Colleen's fine. Can't point to it on a map, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. It just, it wouldn't make sense you get in a house right now. Your mortgage rate would be high. You say that you live in poverty, essentially. You, your debt's high. You'd be extending your car loan length, and I don't think the interest rate's going to be much better where rates are today, um, based on your credit score. It's, I, I, it makes no sense. And then you don't even want to stay there. Where do you want to live? Um, I don't know. Okay, exactly. but not in clean. Yeah, not in so clean. So why would you buy a house? Usually you have to stay in a house for like because five that would years make me for it to make clean. sense. You want to you want that would to, make me. You stay want clean. to be forced to stay in clean. I don't. I don't know because growing up, um, our well, my parents they always you know they feared us from going certain places or just oh they feared you like you know they installed that fear like oh don't go this way don't don't go there you know don't go where like places like, yeah like places like. What? Or stuff like that. I'm so I'm trying to distance myself. Like what though? I'm sorry. I'm trying to get a little more understanding of that. Like, that's interesting. You know how your parents were like, oh, don't do that. Don't go there. Like I was talking about moving for college and all that. They didn't want me to move. What? Yeah, it's like What what was the reason? Was it a financial thing? No, not financial. Okay, because that would have maybe made sense. What was their reasoning? Um they just have different ones like crime and you don't know nobody in that city. You don't know how is, is something was to happen. How are we going to get to you? That's really bad. Yeah. That's really bad for life and personal growth. It's it being coddled and held by parents and not escaping the cocoon and you going off and living on your own. I encourage everyone to go off and live on their own at some point. I'm okay with also staying at home for a bit, but at some point I think it's great to leave the hometown and experience different culture, different world, parts of the world. It's good for careers. It's good for building connections. It's good for just diversifying your knowledge and learning more about the world. Um, no, they... Um, that that's kind of that's that's kind of it's kind of weird and gross. It's it is, it is. So you're afraid of leaving Colleen, basically, because I know, well, with my job I can go anywhere, but it's like that fear. Well, what if I move here and then I lose my job? Like I don't have connections like I do. Doesn't make sense. Uh, down there. Also, if you get locked into a mortgage, you can't really trade up and down like you can for rent and if you want to go back to school you're about to get large semester bills happening yeah so you say no to the mortgage well no f- yeah, i, I do want to make that clear I, I think everything in the there wasn't one upside okay i was just making sure no i know but like there literally wasn't an upside in any of the points we brought up well i think i just want to experience ownership you know or something you get what I'm saying? Because my... Sure, um, but you're 21. You have a lot of life to live. I understand that. Oh, so you own a car. You have you have ownership right mean, there. everybody owns a car, but... Cool. You've experienced ownership. Congratulations. Okay. And then the checking account, instead of doing the things like the mortgage or paying off the car loan that's at a terrible interest rate or paying for school because it's too expensive, we can't afford it. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Whatever. The, what is Snap Finance? <laughs> That about my nephew. Uh, it's a financing company, like you know, what is it? like a buy now pay later. What was it for? Thing. I bought my nephew uh, um, something from the jewelry store, a chain. To be exact. How much was it? Um, I don't remember. I know it was like a, it probably was like twelve hundred, fifteen, oh. fifteen hundred. How much do you owe on it? No, I paid it off. That was the last payment. Oh, the f- Stop spending money you don't have. If you, do you want to complete school or not? That could have easily gone towards tuition. It could have, but you know, he asked for it, so oh, it was in the moment. Oh, you know? hey, hey, uh, can I have $1,200? <laughs> no, I ain't got it. Oh, uh, well, I just asked for it, so by your logic, I should be able to get it. <laughs> I can borrow it. What is it? Uh, and then we f- stop an easy way every f- second of your life. Okay, Sonic Drive In, Taco Bell, go into the f- Takedo store, Starbucks, Bubba's, Starbucks, Donuts, McDonald's, Starbucks. Cabo Seafood, Cash App and Out, $98, McDonald's, Taquitos, Pizza, I think. Yeah, Pizza. What is this acceptance now? Acceptance now, $128 acceptance now. Furniture loan. 
Oh, how much is left on that? Um, 1200, 1244 to be exact. Is there interest? Um, oh. no. Right now I'm doing a hundred day same as cash. Huh? I'm doing a hundred days same as cash right now. So I don't know if the interest occurs after. Yeah, and it might catch up too. It might accrue the interest from before if you don't pay. Yeah, when it does is. that when does that end? Um uh, May 5th. Oh. F I'm going to pay it off. With what money? I'm just going to pay the money like What? When I get paid, I'm going to pay it off. That's what I did last time. But so. it goes towards everything else right now. Yeah. Oh, f off. Just <laughs> Empower, advance, empower me? Okay. That, oh my gosh, it's hidden. So many hidden things. Yeah. What? What? That's advance. Huh? That's advance. We'll pay the advance. And you want to be a fucking accountant? What are you going to account? You can't account for your life. Okay. Pay I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay it off when I get paid. Takes payday advances. Takes payday advances. I'm gonna pay it off when I get paid. No, you're gonna pay your payday advance when you get paid. Pay it off when you get paid. There's no paying it off when you get paid. Paying it off when you get paid. That's stupid. That doesn't make any sense. You don't have money to pay it off when you get paid. You gotta pay your payday advances the last time you got paid. Yeah, you're right. I am right. So stop with me. Stop with me. You can't. I took you at your word that you could pay it off when you got paid. How? How? Because I don't have that no more. You don't have the payday advance anymore? No, it's closed. My, they closed it and I... What do you mean they closed it? Well, what? I closed it and I can't open it up again in 12 months because I don't... Oh, know. thank... Thank... That is the blessing of a lifetime. That is the blessing of a lifetime. It's the best thing I've heard all day. It's the greatest news. What else is going to be uncovered in this checking account that I didn't... F Dairy Queen? Tipsy Gator, Starbucks, Raisin Cane, Starbucks, uh, cash apping out, pizza, CC's pizza. Oh, CC's. This is, this is a, what's up with people going on CC's on this show all of a sudden? Like, and we had that the other day. What the f is happening? And then Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> what are you going to a Chuck E. Cheese for? My niece and nephew wanted to go to Chuck E. Cheese, so they, I took them to Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, yeah, you can't afford it. Tell them to go with their parents. Okay. Subway, McDonald's. Listen, what Jared did is obviously not working. So we don't have to go there. Okay. And then $100. Went from, we started with $7 in this account. Then $100. Oh my gosh. The spending, it continues. It's crazy. I forgot there was another document. I went through these and I forgot there was another document. I thought we got through the spending, but no. Oh no. Oh no, we didn't. No, we didn't because... Again, college is too expensive. We can't pay for it. So instead, let's just go out to eat. $900 a month. That makes sense. Stupid. Starbucks, taquitos, raisin canes, McDonald's. You go out to eat every day. Yeah. You go. I do. I'm glad you admitted that. And that's fucked up. It, it is. I, I, I agree with you on that. But it's, I don't know how to grocery shop. I don't know what all I need, what all I'm going to need because. Well, thank goodness you're getting our meal plan because me. Also. Another great invention called a cookbook. I know how to cook. I just don't know how to shop. What do you mean? Like grocery shop. You like, have H-E-B there, right? Yeah. Select it all in the car and pick it up for free. I understand that, but is this going to last me? You know, it'd be like... Oh. What? Like, let's just say if I go grocery shopping, I I don't know. I, I just don't know how to grocery shop. But I don't know how to grocery shop coming from a grown man is an insane statement. I get that. But I don't know how to grocery shop. Like, you can't blame me for something I don't really know how to do. What, what is it? Uh, I'm, well, I'm a little confused because, I mean, I, I was never handheld, walked into a grocery store, store with a teacher and been like, this is how you grocery shop. <laughs> like, who learns how to grocery shop? You literally go and get what you need for the next I two know, weeks. Like, okay, for the next two weeks. Okay, sure. like that. Like, do I get stuff like once a month? Do I do it? 
and for every two weeks. I don't. Dude, I, it's up to the individual. Some people go after like multiple days a week to get what they need for the next couple of days. So I shop. I'm like an every two week person. Okay. Some people get the grocery pickup. Some people do once a month with these big bulk items from Costco and stuff. Uh, this is, but the internet's free, dude. It is. It is. I, I'm just looking forward to your plan to see how you set it up or something because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> McDonald's, Taco Bell, Taquitos, Taquitos, Starbucks, Texas Roadhouse. It's also just none of this is good for you. It's Tipsy not. Gator, Raising Cane's. Oh, there's Snap Finance. I'm actually, Woo. Taco Bell. The uh, eating out is it's going to slow down. I can't say it's going to completely stop, but it's medical reasons behind it. Medical? What? What Me- medical? Uh, I'm pretty my- sure it's putting you in medical. Yeah, that's issues. what I'm saying. That's why I say I gotta like tone it down. Because I'm actually getting tested tomorrow for a uh, pre-diabetic, I think. And how do you think that's going to go? Um, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Okay. Do you think you're diabetic? Yeah. Uh-huh. Probably. Not With my eating habits, yeah. I didn't want to say it, but going through all this, I mean. It, I mean, it's For it's worth, I'm a thick <laughs> So I get it. I get it. But this is not good for you. This is it's not. It's not. Um. Just reality, basic reality, not a shame thing because people confuse reality with shame. What is going on right there is not suggesting living past like 50. Right. And I don't want that for you because there's no point of us getting our finances together if you're not going to live a long life. Right. And I want you to live a long life. So that's the sacrifices you are going to do now are going to be for a greater future. Right. Okay. Subway McDonald's. And then he has 2,424 and 401k, but we're borrowing it against it anyway. So it's just like, uh, I mean, that was I've lost my pen out of rage. Hmm? I would say, well, that was for a good cause. I would say. Okay. Maybe not. A couch? You didn't know. I don't think you understand. I didn't know where I was going to live at that point. That doesn't involve couches. That statement does not involve well, couches, bed frames. Okay, I agree. They don't. Oh. Oh. What do you spend? Forty-one dollars at HEB. Nine hundred dollars going out to eat. Nine hundred dollars? Just about. Rounded okay. Up. Y'all, this is the time to switch to my favorite high yield savings account. With SoFi, you can get 4.6% on your money. I hate when my money is just losing value, so make sure you're keeping up with inflation at the very least. You can also get FDIC insurance on that money up to $2 million with them. Plus, they'll give you money up to $300 when you set up an account with them. There's even extra perks like being able to get paid a couple days early. SoFi is what I use when I'm setting money aside, and it is the banking app of the future. Sign up, link in the description below. I always want my money to be making more money, so don't lose money on yours. I'll, let's go through your spending categories, just so you've probably never broken down. You've probably never budgeted yeah. in your life, let me guess. Okay, good. Uh, bad, but let me tell you. In terms of going to debt payments net, $522.71, or 12.4% of your spending. $1,138.43 went to housing, or 27% of your spending. 0.6% went to your phone bill. What's your phone? What is it? Uh, iPhone. Your bill. Your... Oh, $95. Okay. Do helium, it's 20 It's the easiest thing. 18, 18.7%. Went to transportation or $789.44. Necessary food. Going to the grocery store, $71.07. Or 1.7% of your spending. 19.8% of the spending as we've went over before. Or $835.64 went to food. Unknown shopping. Typically Amazon, Walmart, that kind of We know it's not grocery, so it's bullshit. 4%. $167.77 went to that. Savings, 1%. Subscriptions, 0.4%. $75.54 went to miscellaneous bullshit. Go on, stopping at the store, getting all that crap. 1.8% the gas stations. $533.09 of the large expenses, which was $12.06 of the large expenses. Equate to, in your situation, cash yapping out money. Friends with benefits? FWB. That's where my brain goes. Well, how much was it? Twenty five eleven. 11 oh, Cheap friends with benefits. <laughs> oh, I have no clue what, what that is. Okay. 
something uh, I was a receiver and the acceptance now great yeah I didn't think it was that much but now I'm you get every it. meal going on to you. I, I understand I'm surprised that. it's not more I, well yeah you're right I didn't know it was that much because I never really looked at it and looking at it mm, it's it, something need to change. Something need to change. So let's flip this back to the beginning of the conversation. Brandon, would you be kind enough to play where he says that he just doesn't make enough and that's all? In no, I feel like I'm just not making enough money. It's obviously very beyond clear that is your spending. It's not your income. It is your spending. And I hope you can acknowledge that now. Can you acknowledge that? Can you acknowledge that now? It is my spending, but at the same time, I think I'm not making enough money. Oh my gosh, oh my... I agreed. No, you didn't. You I, just went and said you weren't making enough f off. $4,400 comes in on a monthly basis. What is your rent? Um, 1060. What about utilities? Uh, 150. What about internet? Included in rent. Your phone bill? Will you switch to helium? Do you owe on your iPhone? Yeah. How and much I'm is on your phone bill? Plan. How much is your phone bill again? 90? 95. Kill me. Car insurance, 185. Gas on a monthly basis, probably 50 bucks. No, no. Yeah, I don't, I don't go nowhere, but I'll eat. But eat. Well, couldn't tell if it was gas or going inside and getting a shot, but anything over $10 at a gas station equated to $132. Okay. I'm going to say $100. Okay, yeah, you can put that $100. What's your minimum monthly payment on the furniture? Uh, $129 bi weekly. Your debt minimum monthly payments. 1042. That's my debt minimum monthly payment? Yes. Okay. That explains. Oh, it's my income. That's the issue. $300 for groceries. $100 for your TP fund. It's anything else you need to exist. Okay. Medical. Ongoing? Uh, nothing right now. What's the copay going to cost at the appointment tomorrow? Um, I, I don't have no copay. I don't think so. No. Never paid a copay. Gym? No gym. I got one at my apartment complex, though. Do you use it? No. No subscriptions. <clears throat> Hold on. Not even Netflix? No. F there's nothing on there anyway, so calm down. Okay. You're going to be working. But I, I watch. In YouTube's free. Uh, okay. Okay. That's it. Anything else in your life that I need to take... In account. Um. Yeah. So that forty four hundred, it should be like what? 44, it should be no income. Yeah. Forty four hundred is actually like four thousand because I put two hundred dollars in a savings. What savings? I have a, a USA savings account. No, you don't. It's not going there anymore. Why not? Because it doesn't make any f sense. You're losing thirty two percent interest. What is that? That, that two hundred dollars. What kind of interest is it gaining in that USAA account? Even if it's at like the so five four point six percent, it's losing to the thirty two percent interest you're losing on your credit cards. It doesn't mathematically make sense. Okay, but what if something happens and then I don't have savings and then I'm back? To you already card. don't have savings, so it doesn't matter. Hey, I got a little. I got a four hundred. No, savings. I'm gonna let me walk you through the actual program. Okay. 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 That's you're not doing that. Okay. You're not doing that. Anything else that you have to pay for on a monthly basis? Um, and no, you're not going out to eat because it's stupid. It's killing you and your finances. So no going out to eat? No going out to eat. Okay, I'm trying. Mm, nothing else minimum. Okay, in order to survive, and this is great. This is great. You know what? I am going to put in a little going out to eat. Can we just do it in a healthy way potentially? Um, so what I will do is I'm giving you 150 fifty dollars <laughs> oh, to go out to eat on a monthly basis congratulations giving your budget to three thousand one hundred seventy seven on a monthly basis congratulations hundred fifty dollars going out to eat come on okay yeah i'll come take on. that i'll take that yes you will because that's all i'm giving you and what about clothes? do you have clothes yeah sick answers that so no clothes no why money. are you getting more clothes you got your point <laughs> 1,223 is what you have left over, which is so f***ing awesome. You have no idea. That's awesome? Yes, it's awesome. Are you kidding me? You 
sir. Make okay money. Great money for your age. It is not an income problem. Okay. Which is a rarity on this show sometimes. So be happy. You're blessed beyond belief. You're best beyond belief. And if you didn't get this car, you could have an extra $600 anyway, but it doesn't matter. You got it. So we're going to deal with it. Okay. So first two months, set that completely aside. And essentially by the end of the first two months, you have a fully funded emergency fund. So there you go. That's the savings. Okay. Like I said, just go with me on my process and I, I promised I'd get you there. Okay. Month number three, pay off visa eh, done and put the $200 towards the furniture loan. He said may and all the back just secures. Okay. We're going to, we're going to finesse this a little first month. You actually pay off the furniture loan. Then month number two and three, you throw it towards a one month emergency fund. Then the furniture loan's gone and the one month emergency fund is there. By the end of month number three, month number four, pay off the visa, and the remaining money goes towards paying off the Capital One card as well, the Walmart Capital One. That's sick. Oh, well, okay. So end of month number four, one month emergency fund, furniture is gone, Walmart Capital One's gone, visa is gone. Then month number three, kill the regular Capital One. No, oh, sorry, month number five, kill the regular Capital One, throw the rest towards the line of credit. Line of credit is killed. Uh, by midway through 75% through month number uh, six, but we'll just call it that to be conservative, give some room for flexibility. Month number six. Month number six, all credit cards gone. The furniture loan is gone. All you have is the Nissan. The Nissan's a really bad debt, but you're also really underwater on it. Yeah. Do you want to keep the Nissan? Um, it looks like I have no choice. Not necessarily. Do you want to keep the Nissan? Mm, not really. Okay, so you don't care about it? Are you willing to drive a $10,000 car? Yeah. Yeah, I'm willing. I'm willing. Okay, so let's see. Let me make sure the math works first. You're about under nine thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollar car, you'd be nineteen thousand dollars. But with closing, so what you could do, mm -hmm. so you could sell the car for the eighteen thousand three hundred. You could borrow nine thousand dollars to make up the gap. And you can all in a personal loan, but also you're actually borrowing nineteen thousand dollars. You're using nine thousand dollars and you're throwing it towards paying off the car because you sold the car, and then you're also using that nine thousand dollars you paid off the car. Fantastic. That loan's gone. The additional ten thousand dollars in that loan, you're then using to go get a ten thousand dollar car that you get. You sent you send to a couple mechanics, get the write off that it's gonna last you a few years, it's safe and happy. It's not luxurious. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now, you have a $19,000 loan. You can or you cannot do that. It's up to you because that's saving you $7,000, which is really good. But uh, it's up to you whether or not you want to pay this off aggressively or do that finessing route. But let's just say you do. And what are we in month number seven at this point? Yeah. And at that point, with where our minimum monthly payments are, we have about an extra $1,000. $300 left on a monthly basis. It'll take you, I would do that actually because it's going to take a while, 14 months to pay off. So it's about a year and seven months. A year and seven months. A year and seven months. Until you're fully debt free. Really? Yeah. Okay, see, that that's what I wasn't understanding. Is that good or bad? That No, that's way better than what I was looking at. That's because I'm making you go aggressive. I'm giving you $150 to go out, eat, out to eat. Okay. I'm a nice guy. Yeah. Uh, Very nice. But... Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you willing to do that? I am willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. And then at that point, what I would do is I'd save up a fully six-month six emergency fund. So let's call it two years total. No, about two years and three months total. You're fully debt-free and you have a fully funded emergency fund. At that point, if you want, you can also cash flow the remainder of school. Okay. As best as you can. Might have to borrow the rest. Okay. And then you pay that off aggressively when you're done. Okay. That's what I'd personally do. I'd gift you like a course career certification, but you're not going into tech. So, yeah. And that's when the exciting things start. Oh, you got to also pay off your 401k loan. So, let's just add an extra month on there for that. So, it's going to take two years, four months. And then keep try to max out your 401k. Max out your Roth IRA on a yearly basis. Um, you won't be able to do that during school. You know, I want to be able to cash flow school, but then we could even start getting into exciting things. I love using, like, I, I max out my IRAs and 
solo 401ks, all that good stuff. Then I buy some individual stocks through Moo Moo. Because that's where the exciting, fun things happen. You're not there yet. Okay. You will be. So do you think I should stop contributing? To your 401k? Yeah. I'd take your match. Okay. But only up to the match. Are you contributing more than your match? Mm, less than my match. I would take your full match. Okay. It's literally free money. So to recap, I was going to take, you know, two years, four months. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to, there's also, I mean, the issue with school, you could do school before it and it delays the stuff. It gets complicated, but yeah. I'm willing to help you through that process if that's what you choose. But to confirm, you are not going to get a house right now, correct? Because that's this whole situation. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get a house. You say don't get a house. Then I believe you, you know, don't get a house. Well, are you only going to spend $150 a month going out to eat? Yes. I think it's very doable. I got to be smart about it. Mm-hmm. You're going to go to the grocery store? Like an adult? I'm going to do the Walmart.com. You're going to go through, yes, you're going to go through our budgeting program. You're going to do all this. Okay. Yes? Yes. Hammer financial score. Your budget was out of control. It was ridiculous. It wasn't the worst we've ever seen, but it certainly wasn't good at all. Two out of 10. De- again, not the worst we've seen. Definitely not good. Two out of 10. Emergency fund. You got to start. One out of 10. Retirement. For your age, $4,000. I'm actually going to give you a four out of 10 for that. You're getting started. Let's just pretend like you're just out of college real estate. Zero out of 10 for now. And I don't want you to increase that score yet. You shouldn't be increasing that score yet in your situation. Hammer financial score rounded up two out of 10. Make sure to stick around for the post show, everyone. And don't forget to check out the links in the description below as they are what I use or would use in specific situations, including the best budgeting program in the history of the internet. Today on the Financial Audit Post Show. Why don't you treat your own finances like a job? Because it is your future. It is, but it don't work like that all the time. Do you drink often? Every weekend. Yeah. Do you go hard when you drink? Every other week. I mean, Noah's the office drinker. So. Okay, Noah is not the office drinker. Noah occasionally has a few beers and has a little bit of But fun. no one else drinks, so Noah's the office drinker. To watch the Financial Audit Post Show, click the Join button below.